Hi everybody, Scott here at TimeSolve, and today we're going to be showing you about how to add users to your TimeSolve account. So when you first log in to TimeSolve, you land here on the Time Entry page. From here, you'll want to go under Account to Professionals, and just a note for those TimeSolve Pro users, this will say Staff instead of Professionals. Once you come to the Professionals page, you will see a list of all the potential users of TimeSolve. Obviously, if you're brand new, you're the person who just started a TimeSolve account, you will be the only person listed here and you'll want to add new professionals. So here's what you do. Click on this new professional link in the upper right hand corner. This will bring us to a dialog box where you'll complete the first name, last name, email, username, which oftentimes people will use uh, email as the username. And then you'll want to create a password for this new professional. The professional will be able to go in and then uh, change that password to something unique once they activate their account. You'll also need to have a default rate for that professional, and zero is a default rate that you could have in there. So if you wanted to keep that at zero, you certainly may. Once you hit save then, that is actually going to trigger an email from to the email address that you entered here, so the new professional can then activate their account and get into the settings. So let's take a look at what permissions and what settings timekeepers uh, can have assigned to them. And you will do that by clicking on their names themselves here. So let's click on Sam Benson in this demo account that we have. And you can see on his profile page, this is where you can change the name, change the email address, change the username, and so on. And this is where the professional can also change their password. Now, as a professional, if they don't have administrative rights, they won't see any of the, most of this information over here uh, in the right column. This is also where you can set the status for a timekeeper or support person, either be active or inactive. And of course, if a timekeeper is made inactive, then you will not be paying for that timekeeper. And then the type of professional that you want to assign to this person, are they a timekeeper or are they a support person? And keep in mind that the difference is that timekeepers will, can enter time and expenses for themselves or any other timekeepers you choose to give them permissions for. A support person cannot enter any time for themselves. They can enter time for any other timekeeper or all timekeepers if you give them that permission. You'll also see over here the default rate that you'll want to enter for the timekeeper. If you go under the contact tab then, and by the way, make sure any changes that you make here, hit save before you move on to the next tab. So under contact, this is pretty obvious information that you would enter for that timekeeper. Hit save and then head over to the permissions page. This is where you can choose to make somebody a full administrator. By default, if you were the one that started, created the TimeSolve account, you are already set as an administrator and that gives access to the entire system. So if you choose to give this professional the admin role, they will be able to do everything within TimeSolve. For other timekeepers or support people, this is where you can set the type of access you want to allow them to have within the system. And as you can see, most of the drop downs will either grant you all access, view only, or no access. And this goes down through when entering time, when entering expenses. Do you want the timekeeper to be able to enter expenses for all timekeepers, for just themselves, or for nobody? Uh, and so on. You can also determine whether you want the timekeeper to be able to, when they're making time entries, specify that entry as billable, non-billable, or a no charge. And can they view and override the rate that you've assigned to them? Uh, this is where you give those, those permissions. One of the great things about TimeSolve is our abbreviations feature. We know that a lot of people, when they're entering time and entering a description for the time that they're tracking, it's a lot of repetitive things that you might be doing. So for example, you might have um, this internet hosted timing and billing project management software solutions, blah, blah, blah. This is an entire paragraph that you write quite frequently. When you enter your time, you can set abbreviations in this area 
so that you would only have to enter two letters in a space bar and that would by default input the entire abbreviation that you've designated. This is where you would set up personal abbreviations for just these timekeepers or the timekeeper that you're editing. If you want to have a firm wide abbreviations, you would go under account to settings and that's where you would do the firm abbreviations. And you'll see more about how this works if you watch the video about how to uh, create time entries. But to create a new abbreviation, you would just click on the link here. This is enter the phrase that you would like to uh, have an abbreviation for. So you can make it up to 2000 characters. So pretty lengthy paragraph type uh, phrase. And then just give the abbreviation. It can be, um, as you can see, a space, a single quote, a double quote, and uh, the slash characters are not allowed. So you'll, generally most people would do two characters or three characters and then the space bar uh, is what would trigger that abbreviation. And then you can choose whether you want this to be an active or inactive abbreviation. The other thing that uh, professionals, when they uh, come in here and edit their settings, would uh, most likely want to do is click on this Time Sync tab to download our Time Sync widget. This is available for both Windows and Mac, and it makes it really easy for entering time and expenses right from your desktop. And it can be done whether you're online or offline. If you are somewhere where you don't have a strong internet signal, um, but you are need to track your time, you can uh, turn on the widget, start tracking your time, and then once you get back online, it will sync up with your TimeSolve account. It's also a great feature for those that are uh, you might be working on a document, you might be doing an interview with a client, and you have a Word file up, you have an Excel file up, whatever work you're doing, uh, it's nice to keep this widget uh, in the corner and just start the timer for the client and the matter that you're working on. And then as soon as you're done you know, what, doing what you need to do, you can sync up your time and it, it will uh, show that time entry uh, in the main time solve interface here. So really a, a nice feature. Uh, all you have to do obviously is click the install now button and follow the instructions and your timekeepers will have that available to them. So if you go back to the main list of professionals, we, we should note that you'll see the ability here to delete uh, professionals. These are, this is only available for any professional who has not entered any time or expenses. If you have a timekeeper who has in the past entered time or expenses, they've left your firm, you won't actually delete them from the system. You want to make them inactive. And obviously the reason behind that is for any historical data that that person has for past invoices and bills and, and time entries, you want to have a, keep a record of that. So when somebody leaves your firm, they're no longer with you, uh, they've moved into a different role, whatever it might be, you'll just click on their name and come down here to their status and make them inactive. And then of course you will no longer be charged as we mentioned before um, for using them as a timekeeper. So that is gonna do it for our look at how you set up your professionals and your timekeepers. If you do have any questions about how to set up your timekeepers, you can always call our support line at 1-888-570 0475. You can email us at support at timesolve.com and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. So until then, happy billing.